Hey friends, I have another book to read to you. It's called, Are You a Bee? And before I read it, I just want you to spend a moment and think about what do you know about bees? Some of you know a lot, but you might learn some things from this. Are You a Bee? by Judy Allen and Tudor Humphreys. Are you a bee? Perhaps you are a honeybee. If so, your mother is a queen. She looks like this, and she lays eggs. Your life began inside one of her eggs. When you hatch, you are not a pretty sight. You are a larva. Larvae are kind of like those white, squishy worms. Ooh, like that. Your older sisters bring food, eat it, and grow. Grow until you fill your cell. One of your older sisters puts a wax ceiling on your cell. Inside your closed cell, you change a lot. When you are ready, chew a hole in the ceiling and climb out. Now, you look like a bee. You have a hairy body with stripes, six legs, and four wings. You have two feelers on your head. You have a stinger. You are not alone. You have a few hundred brothers and thousands of sisters. You live in a nest built by your older sisters. Your nest might be in a hollow tree. It might hang down from a tree branch. Most likely, it will be inside a hive. Your brothers are drones. They don't do much. You and your sisters are workers. You do everything. You clean the nest, feed the larvae, take care of the queen, and build new cells. You fan the nest with your wings to cool it in the summer. You guard the nest to keep out strange bees. Busy, busy, busy. Leave the nest to fetch food from flowers. How will you know where to look? Your sisters will make up a dance to tell you. Watch the dance carefully. Don't worry, you'll understand it. You're a bee. There is sweet liquid in flowers. It's called nectar and it's hidden deep inside. This is not a problem. You have a long tongue. You can reach it. A honeybee's tongue is a little bit like a monarch butterfly's tongue, the proboscis. It's like a long straw. You also have a special stomach to carry the nectar in. You'll get pollen dust all over you. Scrape it off with your front legs and put it in the pollen baskets on your back legs. When you get home, your sisters will help you put the nectar and the pollen into storage cells. Mix some of the pollen with the nectar to make bee bread. Leave the rest of the nectar to turn into honey. Bee bread is good to eat, so is honey. If you find a new patch of flowers, be sure to tell your sisters. How? Dance, of course. More eggs hatch, more larvae turn into bees. The nest gets very crowded. What will happen next? The old queen, your mother, will leave. She takes you and a lot of her, your sisters with her. Deep in the nest, a royal larva is hatching. She is in a different kind of cell and she is fed rich food called royal jelly. When she becomes a bee, she is a young queen. She flies away and mates with drones from another nest so that, they can lay, so that she can lay eggs. When she flies home again, she will be the new queen. Fly with your sisters, follow the old queen, Stay together, you are part of a swarm. When the queen stops, swarm around her. Now you must build a new nest, but where? Maybe the queen will send scout bees to find a good place. Or maybe a beekeeper will find you and take you all to an empty hive. 
Why is the beekeeper dressed like this? With a hat and a veil and long gloves and long sleeves? Well, it's in case you get flustered and try to sting. Beekeepers don't want bees to sting. However, if your mother looks a little like this, or this, or this, you are not a bee. You are a human child. You do not have a hairy body with stripes on it. You do not have a long tongue. You do not have a stinger. It is very unlikely that you have hundreds of brothers and thousands of sisters. But you can do a lot of things that a bee can't do. You can still eat bread and honey, but you'll never have to fetch your food from flowers. Best of all, you don't have to be busy, busy, busy all day long. Now you can decide if you're a bee or not. Bye for now.